Initializing listener engine. Initializing visual engine. Initializing game engine. Initializing LLM engine. Welcome again. Time to be productive. Yes, I am here. Let me think. I am the next generation voice assistant bot that is going to take the world by storm and is going to make life easy by saving time on everything. You want to say anything else? Let me think. I can perform many functions like helping you in playing games, playing music, scheduling events, starting a timer, showing images, and many more. Yes, I am here. Current date is 4 of February. You want to say anything else? Check the screen on my body. Yes, I am here. Let me think. Here you go, some funny cat videos. You want to say anything else? Let me think. Thanks, you are welcome. Yes, I am here. Let me think. No problem, I will remind you at 5 p.m. today. Should I set the schedule on 5 of 2 year 2023? Tell me the day. Tell me the month. Tell me the year. Tell me the note. New schedule added. You want to say anything else? You look great today. Yes, I am here. What game you want to play? Hangman or rock, paper, scissors?
want to say anything else? Turning down the engines. Goodbye. Now let us take a look at how the Cyclops works. The Cyclops architecture consists of units called engines which fulfill certain functionalities. All the engines are handled by the central unit called the brain. The voice engine converts text to speech. It uses the default voice that your Windows has. It is implemented using the PyTT SX3 module. The listener engine transcribes speech to text. The inbuilt microphone in your computer records the audio. This audio is fed to the VOSC English model which converts it to text. Visual engine takes care of camera function, emotion recognition and drowsiness detection. Camera functionalities include opening a camera, taking a picture and saving it in the photos taken folder. The emotion detection and eye blinking models are custom models based on the VGG16 architecture. The FER model detects three emotions, happy, sad and neutral. The face detection is done by the Hewnet model, which is an inbuilt model in the OpenCV library. The drowsiness detection model identifies whether the user's eyes are open or closed. The LLM engine takes care of initializing and interfacing the large language model. Here we are using the Mistral 7B model, which has been quantized and is running using the Llama CPP module. The image engine script is used whenever the LLM wants to show the user an image. It accesses the image by scraping the web, saves it in a folder and later displays it. The music engine is segregated into two parts, playing music from predefined playlists like rock, pop, classical and techno, and playing YouTube videos. The second functionality is accessed by the LLM. The news engine scrapes news from a website and reads out the headlines. The note engine handles creating and adding new notes. It also helps in reviewing the previous notes. The physical engine helps in initializing and sending data to the Arduino bot. The scheduler engine adds your schedule to a CSV file and reviews it at the start of a new day. The timer engine is used for setting a timer and locking the computer when the user is not in front of the camera. Finally, we come to the central unit called the Brain Script, which controls all the engines mentioned previously. It contains some hard-coded commands and various functionalities, including an LLM interpreter, which interprets the information given by the LLM and undertakes necessary actions.